Good evening and good morning to uh, everybody. And before I begin, uh, let me start by paying homage to the Triple Gym, the Buddha Dhamma and the Sangha with my respect. And as well as I would like to convey my respect to the most venerable uh, Atimi Mangsang, the president of the CBMS, and also the uh, also all venerable venerables here who join us on this online broadcasting. And as well as to all venerable monks around the world who might be watching this uh, program online. And wanted to, uh, once again, thank you so much for spending your uh, precious time to appear on this uh, program to share with us your uh, perspective, your knowledge about the Khmer New Year. So uh, here I would like to introduce two venerable from Cambodia, uh, venerable Hak Sin Hai and Venerable uh, Pum Chon Tola from Battambang province, Cambodia. Thank you so much once again for joining us. And uh, once again, I would like to inform both of you that uh, we are doing this program in English because we uh, strongly believe that we could share some information to the younger, younger generation. And as well as we would like to uh, do this in order to reach out to the non-Cambodian speaker who might be interested in, uh, in knowing the, the reason of celebrating the Khmer New Year. That's why we are uh, uh, creating this uh, program in English in, in, in the purpose of sharing. So uh, both of you have known that yesterday we have done uh, a session of this uh, celebration with Venerable Dr. Yuan Sing Yit and uh, Mr. Wu Peng San. Uh, so once again here, uh, because this celebration means a lot to all the Cambodians. And we also have a lot of uh, moral aspects behind this celebration. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, and as well as the cultures, the tradition uh, aspects and perspectives. So we would like to share this, you know, it, this means a lot as a public holiday in Cambodia. And it means a lot as a it's a family day for Cambodian people. So we would like to go further. What does it mean uh, in Cambodia and how can we, we learn from, from this uh, public holiday uh, and share with our viewers here. So I, I would like to, uh, to inform both of you that we will uh, discuss on the Buddhist perspective as well as the tradition perspective so I hope that both of you can share with us more knowledge on, on this uh, celebration because uh, you are a very well known figure on the broadcasting on online. So I, I believe that you can share with us more uh, knowledge on this. And uh, once again, thank you. So I would like to start with, uh, as you know, this is the second day uh, of the celebration. So uh, if you can uh, share with us, I will, I will pass this question to both of you. Either way, you can share, you can, you can tell us, you can share with us uh, according to your knowledge. So we are, you, you know, all, all of us as a Cambodian, we know that we are celebrating this public holiday, the Cambodian New Year for three days. So the question is, why are we celebrating this New Year for three days? You know, uh, according to many other New Year's in different cultures in different countries, Mostly they only have one day, you know, pass at this, uh, or two days. I can say that because in, in the U.S. we call this like New Year Eve, and then we start the New Year. So basically, it's only two days. So why are Cambodian people celebrating this Cambodian New Year for three days? So can you uh, share with us a little bit what was the reason behind it? So thank you. But I, I, I would like to ask when we were having high first. Yes, would you please? Thank you. ແລະສົມກະຕະໄຟກົມປາປາງຄູກົບປາອັງໂດຍໄດ້ກ្រົບ <laughs> Uh, that don't come to Bonnet, you was only when they 
nâng dạng này dạng này để chia giếm So thank you very much for all sir uh, First of all I would like to pay my homage to the Tripojum, the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha and my most respect to verbal Tim uh, Mung Sang and all most verbal who are on this platform and especially Happy New Year to everyone who are watching this live show. It is a very, very auspicious day actually for all Cambodian people uh, living in Cambodia as well as living abroad. We are now enjoying Khmer New Year. Uh, actually in Cambodia, today is the, the last day, when it was there, the last day, but in US it is the second day of a celebration. Um, I want to give some information about Cambodia uh, now. Uh, very unfortunate, uh, very unfortunate uh, actually, because um, we are facing very very tough situation. Um, as we all know, the uh, crisis of the world right now, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, is very serious, and in, in Phnom Penh, it's locked down. Uh, people cannot go out from the house to uh, to other places. So uh, other province as well uh, is not locked down, but uh, there is a restriction from province to another province. Um, in New Year, we always uh, come to temple and people really uh, enjoy with the family um, doing something which is nice. Uh, so uh, the, uh, on this day, uh, very, very quiet. Uh, but there is uh, the word that uh, the government said, Happy New Year at home. So people uh, just happy, uh, enjoy the New Year at home, uh, you know, with the family. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I come to the uh, question, uh, what about us, why we all celebrate uh, Command New Year uh, for three days? So why is not one day or two days, three days? Uh, I tried to find the uh, answer from um, many documents, but there is no any detail about it. But uh, I can simply say uh, it is our largest tradition uh, that is, uh, you know, annual holiday. So I can say in simple way that um, just one day not enough uh, should be three day or many other days and as I read in the document even the past time uh, Cambodian uh, people enjoy this uh, holiday for 15 days in uncle uh, period yeah uh, for 15 days but later on uh, we have only three days um, so all these three days they have uh, very specific um, uh, specific activity uh, that is name has on grand and uh, and uh, Lang Sa. so all these three days we have a lot of activities so if only one day I think it's not enough and um, one more thing uh, I think because of our uh, tradition as well that uh, some people separate from their family to do some work at other places so if they spend one day to come to their family is uh, really very short time. So uh, our ancestors, they really uh, understand about this situation. Uh, there are three days or many, uh, many more days. And uh, if, we, if we analyze the situation of our uh, countries, uh, we mostly uh, depend on the agriculture. So our people mostly are the farmer. Uh, they, they really uh, have done hard work during uh, the harvesting season. So uh, when the harvesting season is done, so they have to enjoy uh, with these uh, great days for, for three days. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your knowledge on this uh particular uh, celebrations. And uh, I would like also ask, uh, turn this question to Venerable uh, Pum Chon Tola. And, and once again, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I'm excited to hear from you because this is uh, will be the first time for me and many of the Venerables hearing from you. So uh, what can you share with us? 
uh, on this uh, auspicious occasion and why are we celebrating this for three days? Uh, please, could you share with us? Can you test my, your microphone? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, you can I'm Sorry, start. I use my phone. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, okay. My internet is not good do. for computer. Hear me clearly? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <clears throat> ແລະສົມຍັງຂ້າຍຕະບົງກະສົມມາສກາອ່າອົງປະທີຕັ້ງ <laughs> ទៅសេរទៅសេរមានពេលគិតមានពេលអីចឹងទៅអាចថាល្អច្រើនប៉ុន្តែបាននិយាយព្រៀងព្រៀមអត់សូវប្រកាសគឺណាអញ្ច
So we know how to do the business. And people start to think, okay, we can do the business. So that's why they're still a little bit okay. If we take a lot of time, long time to do holiday, like 15 days, so we may reverse the time. We should cut something. I, I don't know what it is before, but that's my idea, saying that they change the perspective of, okay, a lot of holiday, we will like waste the time. And you can say right now, we can cut cut off some of our holiday in Cambodia right now because of reverse a lot of time on holiday. I think the our ancestors also are more clever than us. Maybe they think about that. And they can cut into uh, 15 day to seven day and seven day to three day. That's 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 what I think. But another way is uh, our ancestors was clever. What I mean is is an, like combine everything uh, because most of us respect in Hindu or Brahminism and also Buddhism. And we think about the meaning of the day. What I mean is even you respect and even you pray Namo the Sun three times, seven times, and everything like we, we have. Um, what I mean is the meaning in, inside, not just only one day, like the US, like we have two days, like New Year's Eve when you start and and second day is New Year. So in Cambodia, we have behind that, what's the first day, second day, and the third. The first day we call Sankran, it means that in the time, when the time is come to one round, the first day we call Sankran, so New Year. And the second day, to, and today in US, so we call one about one about is we call blind day. It means in the middle of Minarasai and Mesarasai. It's not come to New Year or not yet come to the New Year. It's in the middle. It means that in the middle. So and and the third day we call Baralangsa. This is the last day we call New Year. So because in from Cholasakaraj and Hasakaraj we change to that. We use Cholasakaraj. So we change to the new uh, Cholasakaraj one more year. So you can take uh, two thousand and twenty one. Plus two, so plus three. So the call we call Tresa. So and next year, 2022, and you, you use 22 plus Tosakrat one, Hasakrat one, four. So that, that's easy to think how do we use Tresa and blah, 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 blah. But uh, in, uh, in traditional, we use um, Tosakrat and divide with 10 sa, because we have only 10 sa. So the first day is New Year Day come, and the second day is in the middle, not yet go to the the, the third, third day. But on the third day, Lang Sa, it's be changed. So that's why start, beginning, and so this is the way of life. You think about the way of life, start, beginning, and, and so everything in this process. And so that's why the, I think this is very clever for our own, own ancestor. And also another way we can say that past, present, and future. So we think the first day is past, and now in second day is present. And when we move to another one, it's future. And we think about everything and everything is changing, like the way that we can do. Uh, yeah, that, that's my, my, my two reasons. One is about business. And the second one is about uh, tradition, religion, and perspective behind that. OK, that's, that's my Thank answer. You. Thank you so much. Uh, well, you have uh, a lot of good examples. And this is clearly uh, easy to understand. and. And it, it, it means a lot because, uh, you know, many of us don't really understand the, you know, the concepts behind the three days. And, and uh, uh, now, as you, as you have mentioned, that we are in the middle. So we are in the middle or in between uh, the old year and the new year. And, uh, but, uh, but in Cambodia, we are, you already start starting the new year. So uh, this is incredible. And, and uh, at, uh, uh, would like to add a little bit on your so that we we call it the uh, lu lunar calendar and solar calendar. So lunar, yeah, lu lunar is, is is the journey of the moon and solar is the journey of the sun. And mostly we are, are calculating or we are following the follow, following the lunar calendar. So that's why we are counting on this day. So let let's go uh, let's go into uh, the moral aspect and also the Buddha's teaching. Uh, which, which uh, as a Buddhist country, as a, as, as, as a Buddhist practitioner, uh, at, or simply as Buddhists, we uh, follow, we are, we are translating uh, those uh, moral aspects into practice. So, uh, you know, basically, we all know that it relies on the three, uh, three blessings. Uh, so, uh, it, uh, it, is, uh, it is from the story of the a demigod, uh, I don't know, the, the Brahma, 
so we kind of then we got the ladies that 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 are challenging with the with the Kamabal uh, Kuma or, or uh, the, the 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 simple man on earth uh, to challenge him and and it became later on it became uh, we already talked we discussed this story uh, yesterday with Venerable Dr. Yan Sing Yen and uh, other speakers. So now I would like to go in detail. So I would like to give both of you Venerable Ha uh, Sing Hai. Uh, could you please give it, uh, uh, describe or tell us about the three uh, about the three blessings and venerable Pum uh, Chantola? I would like you to uh, tell us about the the, the Brahma, the demigod, that the the, 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 the four sublime teachings, which uh, which is loving kindness. So because this is very important, but why I'm asking this because you know uh, we consider uh, this public holiday as a family day, and then children uh, will have to go back home and pay their respect or receive blessing from from their parents or simply we know this uh, as a living Buddha. So when we come Chandala after when we have seen high, then I would like you to describe about the, the four sublime teachings uh, or, uh, or simply the Cambodian uh, Pali, we call it the from over here. Uh, so you would, I would like you to describe uh, what does it mean on, on each of the four. And, uh, and now let me start with Venerable Ha Sing Hai. So what are those three blessings and how can we, we understand it and how can we gain blessings uh, uh, from, from this uh, uh, auspicious occasion? So could you please help us uh, describe or uh, share with us your knowledge on this, uh, uh, this uh, three, uh, three blessings? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Most Venerable. And, you know, in uh, Khmer New Year, we always talk about Serai. In Khmer, we say Serai Tua Serai. In English, that is Happy New Year. So in this auspicious day, uh, uh, people believe that the day that brings happiness and blessing to everyone by gathering, by doing something uh, that is meritorious deed. So um, we always talk about the Rai. Um, there are three the blessing that is today, and we heard about uh, the story concerning Gabal Mahaprum and Tamabal. And Tamabal can answer very well to the question of um, Gabal Mahaprum about the three blessings. Uh, so I, I just want to mention uh, briefly um, a little bit concerning the story that um, Gabal Mahaprum asked the question uh, to the Tamabal uh, about the Serai, about the blessing. He asked, what is the blessing in the morning? And what is the blessing in the afternoon? And what is the blessing um, in the evening? So uh, Tamaba takes seven days to answer by hearing um, the answer from the two eagles. So uh, the blessing in the morning is on the face. So people, uh, when they get up, they take the water to, to wash the face. So it is uh, naturally, if we get up in the early morning, if we don't uh, wash the face, uh, we feel not fine and we are not happy. So if we want to be happy, we want to be fresh, you have to wash your face. Yeah, and um, in the afternoon as well, uh, the weather is very hot. So people take the water to, uh, to, to wash the chest or we might say can take shower. So... Uh, it is in the uh, afternoon and in the evening uh, people wash their feet. So this uh, blessing that in the story. Uh, but as we are Buddhists, we should to sing uh, another way that to really bring the real happiness to ourselves and to the society. Uh, because happiness or blessing or serai, we cannot pray uh, to get all those things from the God or from other powerful person. Uh, from Deva, from uh, other people. We, we, we cannot pray for that. Even uh, some people can give the blessing, uh, wish you happy, wish you long life. Uh, we enjoy it, but uh, actually we, uh, we cannot get all those blessings by begging, by uh, compliment from other people. Uh, the most important thing is we can practice by ourselves. So in the same way, in this aspect, um, uh, the our ancestor really teaches uh, by the story. Uh, the meaning behind is that um, the blessing in the morning is uh, referred to our speech. As we see in our face, uh, we have eye, we have 
uh, nose. Um, but important thing is that mouth that we, we speak every day uh, without mouth, we, we, we cannot speak. So um, the, the, the blessing in the morning is that uh, we have to be careful to our speech that we utter uh, during our, um, in our mouth. So it, it, well, it can bring happiness or bring any destruction uh, because our word, uh, as a Cambodian saying, our word is number one. Some uh, so our word is uh, number one. So um, if we don't uh, care, our word is uh, really uh, harmful to other people. And Buddhism, we have four kinds of uh, speech. That is, uh, if we speak uh, in unwholesome action, that is uh, lying. So we, we should not lie. And uh, slandering, that is gossip. And a hard speech like scolding and yeah, say something that is not good, uh, bad word. And uh, fourth, that is uh, vain talk, that is useless talk. So if we can refrain from all those speech, uh, the, we can uh, have a happy life, a happy uh, family, happy society uh, by our word as well. And uh, for the blessing in the afternoon referred to our mind. So uh, in Buddhism is very, um, uh, very detailed about consciousness of our mind that uh, we all understand uh, the consciousness and the mind is uh, uh, original of all happiness and suffering. So if we can cultivate our mind um, uh, mindfully, so uh, we will be happy, we will get happiness. So. Uh, three kinds of mind that is non covetousness non ill will have the right understanding. So uh, this is the mind in wholesome uh, action. And uh, bodily action refer to the uh, blessing in the uh, evening. That is no killing and no stealing, uh, no adultery. Uh, yeah, this uh, three action really uh, good for all uh, people if we can apply in our daily life we uh, will get happiness and blessing uh, from these three kinds of series so uh, thank you very much thank you thank you so much thank you so much so real blessings can be obtained can only be obtained from real practices and then right. the real practices uh, must be uh, go to our speech uh, our body and our mind. So this is incredible because a lot of people coming to the temple uh, seeking the blessing by, you know, lighting incense and pray to the Buddhist statues and uh, sim or sometimes ask the mind, can you give me some blessings and uh, or grant me some power? The kind of, you know, a lot of people are keep, are keep asking that it's a, because they believe that uh, we, we uh, among them grant them uh, blessings, uh, but in, in 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 the real teachings of the Buddha, blessing can only be obtained from from real practices to uh, the body, speech, and mind. So thank you so much for for clarifying uh, uh, this uh, understanding and this uh, this this teaching, uh, so people uh, can understand. So uh, again, because uh, we have a lot of to discover, a lot to discuss on this uh, auspicious occasion. But I will go one more uh, question with Venerable Chon Pum Chon Tola. As I, as I have mentioned before, so could you please uh, help us to understand what are those four sublime teachings in the Buddha, in, in the Buddha's teaching? So could you please uh, go ahead uh, share with us your knowledge? Thank you. Thank you, Hanabas. Thank you for the question and for for sublime. Um, before I start uh, uh, to to answer the question, just. Uh, I would like to back to the to the story about Kabbalah Mahaprabhu's and it's um, actually this is the the story in Asia and not only in Cambodia, but in um, yeah yeah through the the book uh, and twelve month ceremony for, of Chang Pan Sopon and Prinin Tuzan, he said that the, this the, the story is from uh, Mahasankara Sot or Mahasankran Sot, and but this is the story. Uh, later, it's not from the original one. Uh, and Chapin said that uh, the story is from Slekret and also they also wrote in the wall of uh, 
Thai temple in Bangkok, and and they said that translate that they use from Mon description about Makkabal Mahaprum, and <coughs> normally um, just just wish to summarize the story a little bit, and I, I don't know everyone know the story, but the cause of this story is because of. Uh, um, for sublime state and Brahma ritual. This is this, the, the main story, how to use for sublime state in Khmer Media and, and the change, transform to Khmer Media because of this story. And this, the, 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 this story is the main point is when Mahaprabhu lost one of uh, four sublime state, we call it, we have four sublime state. One is loving kindness, or we can use in Visotam uh, we call universal love. It's the love that spread everywhere because universal love it's um it's in in the sotomia book but now we can, we can just loving kindness and another one is compassion and the third is um sympathy joy I, i'm not so as let's say my sympathy joy it's mean that you you're happy with uh, everyone that gets success or better sympathy joy and another one is equanimity so kabala maha promise he lose one of this is sympathy joy it seemed like in that day People believe in Brahmanism, in Brahm. I think in the more population in that time, maybe they believe in Brahmanism, another one believe in Buddhism, actually. And and Thamabal is maybe Buddhist, and, and Kabal Mahaprabhu may be Brahmanism. But by our history, it's, we, we talk about um, the people who like, I don't know how to say, but by, by, by tradition, if you are king, and you know that someone is better than you in the party, you will be killed. And so in that time, people believe in Brahman. I mean, the Brahman is very proud of himself. He said that, okay, he teach a lot of lucky dharma to everyone. But right now, Thomas Baal, he know a lot and he teach Mungkul to everyone too. And so the popularity of uh, Thomas Baal is so, now is people recognize him. So he has to try to find, as a leader, as a Mahaprabhu, he should have Sympathy joy. Ah, oh, okay, he's good. Now he can work as my work and can share. Uh, now I can rest. But he loses sympathy joy. And he feel that in the future, maybe they respect only Thamabal. So he tried to find, to kill him. So that's why he asked three questions. That's why. And if you cannot answer, I will kill you. But if you can answer, I am be killed by you. So that's the high thing that, okay, very strong because he's very angry. I think that, that, that's the thing. So he lose only one, one of four, sympathy joy, but the country is chaos. And people, and also the animal. So even animal like eagle. And so that, ah, okay. That is the story that they lose for sympathy joy. But that is what we learned from the story. So you think like, like Tun Chai, you can see that thing, the, the story. And so the king will kill Tun Chai because of his very clever. That, that you can see, you can say. And, that's um, uh, this is just I would like to 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 describe about uh, how to use that, and we can uh, analyze. I, I read about the text from from that he did that he analyze about many years from Kabal Mahaprabhu. It's very very beautiful, and just to read about. Um, you don't have loving kindness like Kabal Mahaprabhu don't have love. Uh, sorry, yeah, yes, lose some pieces of joy, but Kabal Kumar, he doesn't have loving kind, kindness back to Mahaprabhu. What I mean is, actually, Thobal Kumar is not clever at all. He cannot answer the question. But he get the answer from Igor, that Igor is animal. So why? Igor is animal, but he's clever than Thobal. And Thobal get the answer from the Igor, an answer to the Brahman, to the Brahmin. And he said that, okay, this is my answer. Honestly, he lied. So he want to kill Brahmin. Honestly, if he said that, okay, this is my answer, it's not my knowledge. I get the knowledge from Miko, so I answer to you. So we, we, we now we are together and we don't kill each other, that finish. And Brahmanism is um, not be killed and Tom Balguma is living in this peace way and they can work together. But because of Tom Bal, they don't have loving kindness and compassion, you get revenge from that. You want to kill me, right? I have to kill you back. So that's why you kill them. So this is the story that very, very interesting that we can think. And after that, we don't, we don't know Tomobal Kumar, where, where he, he doesn't go. But the story is talk only in Mahaprabhu that have four face. 
and seven sisters and daughter just uh, because when you threw for Brahmi uh, Brahmi at all, you threw away, and no one take here, so everything uh, like the world finished. You don't have loving kindness. You don't have compassion. You don't have the peace of joy. You don't have equanimity. The world finished. So you cannot throw away. Just only you have to take here. That's fine. And this story also talk about how to delegate the power. It means that. So, the Brahm said, "Okay, it's on on time for me." So I still give the power to our daughter, seven daughter, and they change every year, and they are female. So that's why the perspective is something like you have to share, you have to really get the power because you are already old. But seven daughter, you have to carry four supplants there the whole year, one daughter for the whole year. So even you change, but uh, the way you uh, control the world, the same. So that, that's that very interesting thing about this story. That's like, yeah. uh, that, that, that's just back that, yeah, a lot of things that we can analyze mm-hmm. the story, but it, it, yeah. it is not the truth, but just in the, the idea. Just, just take it, and yeah. if you don't believe it, if you don't think it's not your idea, that's okay. But that's, <laughs> that's this is the way that we can analyze about the story of Hambalat. Ha- ha- I think that's, that's a good way to learn from the story, and not only just read the story. It just yeah. and one point is like everything like the same story, like uh, it's very similar to Tunche's story that Tunche cannot answer the, the the question from Chinese scholar, and he said that I have to kill myself, and if I don't answer. So I feel like proud and no one say bad about me and the country is not lost. The same Tom Abal, he said that he, he cannot answer the question. So he tried to, to, to hide and to, to die better than uh, from the some kill him. So that's why he still be okay, good at all. So we can say like the question, three questions, the same question, like Serai and the Milan, three events answer. That's why I think that our story is the same thing. Like uh, we can compare that. And Oh yeah, I think it's too long. I don't know. Sorry. And about thank you, thank you, sir. Four, yeah. four sublime, right? I, I will talk a little bit about four sublime state. That yeah, in this in this story, would like to talk about four sublime state. And if you lose only one, so the world cares. Like Kabal uh, Mahaprom lost some peace joy, but he still have equanimity, like because he respect the his word. Yeah. Actually, Kabal Mahaprom is very power. He can deny, okay, I don't care. So he can, but he respect this. That's that that's that that's the story that we finish that like honest. So in yeah. four sublimes, it is very important, universal love, and you want everyone to be happy and compassion. If you see anyone suffering, you feel pity, you feel something like that. It means that you take com- loving kindness into action. Because of loving kindness, you have compassion. That's that's why that this connects to each other. And sympathy joy is something like you are bad, you are with everyone, like no jealous. Yes. On toy is something like it's a, you don't have Isa. And that's why you don't you you you, you are very bad. And equanimity is of, we call wisdom. And to like if you don't you, you want to ha- have a loving kindness in the middle, you have to use equanimity. Like if you have compassion, you have to use uh, wisdom, equanimity. So that's why that loving kindness, compassion, and sympathy, joy, you have to walk with wisdom. You cannot lose that. That's why. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you. As thank, you. As well. okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Because we are, you know, we have a limited, limited time and, and uh, I'm going to uh, end our, discu- our, our discussion in English uh, here. But uh, once again, thank you so much for Venerable Hassan Hai and Venerable Kum Chantola. You know, uh, it is critical for all of us to understand the, the blessing, the real blessing that that we all can be obtained through the real practices, and as well as the you know the force of calm state of the mind, which uh, if we as you mentioned, it, it's, it, this is critical. You know, if if in the world if we 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 don't have any one of it, we are going to collapse and the world can be destroyed. So the meaning that the the four face demigod. If it's being thrown on earth or into the uh, uh, the, the great ocean, can be burned or can be uh, destroyed, and and then this is the point. It is the four sublime state of the mind, which you know, if you have, if, if we, we uh, here do not have the the compassion, uh, the loving kindness toward each other, 
we can never survive because we 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 tend to be selfish and and take everything that we can take and similarly here we consider our community as a as a family day and go back and rethink and pay respect to our parents because without their compassion without their loving kindness uh we can never be brought up as the person so see clearly that this is the moral aspect behind this celebration and we all as a human being uh not particularly as a monk but as all human being we all need of need 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 it kind of this thing, regardless of our race, regardless of our nationalities, but the whole universe, all human beings uh, need to practice these uh, three blessings and as well as uh, this four subconscious of the mind. So uh, once again, thank you um, for sharing your uh, precious knowledge and, uh, to all of us here. And once again, I would like to inform our viewers that we are not we were not born as a, a, a native speaker. We are not American. So we are doing this in order, uh, or we only want to share uh, the, the notion, the, 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 the ideas and the knowledge behind our celebration. So we hope all uh, forgive us that in case we <laughs> committed any mistake and, and, and we are sorry and we apologize for our mistakes and we will keep doing better. And thank, uh, once again, thank you to both Ben and and uh, I would like to end our discussion here and then we can still have one more day for tomorrow and uh, there will be another group of the monks discuss in English. So we'll, uh, please catch up with us and learn more about our this celebration. And I would like to thank uh, to all venerable monks here for uh, listening with us. And uh, for this, I yield back to the main uh, main speaker, main uh, moderators uh, the, to, uh, who host this uh, program.